Good afternoon. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco and One PH. The country's number of deaths for COVID-19 is now more than 600 as the tally for new cases continues to rise. As of 4 p.m. today, the health department reports 24 new deaths for a total of 603 patients who have succumbed to the disease. The good news, we continue to have more cases of recoveries with 40 patients recovering in the past 24 hours, bringing the numbers to 1,124. Meanwhile, 156 new COVID-19 cases have been tallied for a total of 8,928. That's just less than 100 before the country breaches the 9,000 mark for COVID-19. Senator Coco Pimentel has announced being cleared of COVID-19 more than a month after being in hot water for violating quarantine measures. In text message to News 5, Pimentel said he believes he is a recovered person, although it is best to get official word from the DOH. Pimentel said the infection may have already run its course since he is still alive with no major complications. Criminal cases against the senator were being prepared as of March. Pimentel earned public ire after accompanying his pregnant wife at the Makati Medical Center, despite being on mandatory home quarantine. Pimentel insists he only found out that he was positive for the virus when he was already in the hospital. The palace announces that it will increase the number of beneficiaries eligible to receive financial aid under the Social Amelioration Program. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque says that from 18 million, the government added 5 million more beneficiaries for a total of 23 million recipients of the cash subsidy. These 5 million beneficiaries are eligible to receive the first tranche of payout from the Social Welfare Department. That's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Marisol Halili. We are One News.